Scrafty friends, it's Erica, Scraftiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you a small Dollar Tree haul and a small Amazon haul. All right, so let's jump right on in. I found a few little things at um, Dollar Tree um, that I wanted to share. I found, I finally found one of these pom-pom hearts and I thought this was super cute and they're fun to just put in Happy Mail. I've seen a lot of ladies haul these. Um, I only found one and it has like a little snap closure, but super cute. Hopefully I can find some more. Um, I did pick up um, one of these pencil pouches um, for Happy Mail, and it's just a sequence pencil pouch. They sell it in the little school section at Dollar Tree, and I thought this was super cute. Could probably further embellish this if I want to. And then I picked up some of these folders. Um, I picked up this one, and there's two um, three-hole, two-pocket folders in here. And these folders are like heavyweight cardstock. And my idea was to um, cut them out with my dies. So that's what I did. I made some boxes using my Spellbinder um, dies. And it's the perfect thickness for like a treat box. So I went ahead and um, die cut it out. And I thought, how super cute would that be? Um, so I was just playing around. Um, here's another treat box that I um, cut out using the folder. As you can see, I did it backwards where the front of the pattern is on the back of the box instead of the front, but I'm still gonna keep it and these can be like little party favor boxes for the kids' birthday parties um, that they get invited to. There is like no shortage of birthday parties, I'm just saying. Seems like there's one every week, so these will definitely get used, but how super cute is that? So if you find really cute folders, how cute would it be, how cute would it be to die cut them out um, with your um, dies that create treat boxes. I thought, how super cute, and it's just a good sturdy weight cardstock. So I had fun playing with that. I also got this pattern right here, and for $1, I mean, how cute. I mean, this has like foiling on it, and it's a little shiny, so really pretty. And you get two folders for $1, so you can't beat that. So I went crazy, and I did get three of these. And, you know, obviously you can use it for other um, crafting um, projects as well. But I just thought how pretty, super cute. So I'm going to play with those. And then from Amazon, um, I did pick up this die. And I did see my friend Crystal posted on her Instagram. Hi, Crystal. I think her Instagram is when you make a wish, I believe. Anyway, she shared this bow, and I thought, oh, that's super pretty, and she had die cut it out of some Christmas cardstock, and I thought, wow, that's really pretty for treat boxes for Christmas. It's actually a really big die, and I will just, let's see if I can open it up and show you really quickly what it looks like. Um, I don't believe this is a new release. I think it's been out for a while, but it comes with these two pieces right here, and then um, this creates the little bottom of the bow and then you've got the middle piece for the middle part of the bow super pretty let me show you what it looks like cut out so I cut out one in ice cream paper isn't that gorgeous I love the size and I love the scallops and I think that I will be using this definitely for super cute treat packages uh, or packages for Happy Meal um, so really really pretty and then if you watched my Tuesday morning haul I shared this policy envelope that I created um, and again, this is where I use that really pretty bow and you can layer it. You know, I use the gold shiny paper with the card stock and I think that came out really, really pretty. And this is the back. I hauled this envelope from Tuesday morning. You have to watch that video if you didn't, but um, super pretty bow. I mean, it's look how big it is, great size. And then last but not least, my friend Anna, who is Serenity Creations here on YouTube, shared this glitter on her channel. She um, must live very close to Frank Garcia's studio because she hauled this glitter from the studio and she was actually gracious enough to kind of do a video log for me. The store is absolutely amazing and when I saw this glitter and she shared it, I knew that I wanted to try it. Um, it just basically gives your projects like confetti, like it makes it look so sparkly. So I went on Amazon and I did use Amazon Prime. I got it super fast and I picked it up. It's called Glitterific. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Glitterific and this is the pack that I got. You can get different um, 
colored packs, but it came with this five pack. So I got this blue color, and then this is more of like turquoise and blue, this really pretty purple. And then I also picked up this silver and then the gold. This all came together in the pack um, that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll link it. So super pretty glitter. So let me just share with you what it looks like. I did a couple examples so you could see up close what the glitter looks like, but it has like these little flakes and they're really, really shiny. And it's like giving your project confetti, I think. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So this is the purple one. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it's so, so sparkly. I love it. Um, highly recommend this glitter and I'm looking forward to playing with it and I think Anna said that um, you can use it on flowers and all kinds of different um, projects so really really pretty this is what the uh, gold one looks like and you just see all those really pretty um, specks of gold it just makes it just gorgeous it's absolutely pretty so that's that one and then here is the blue one I was working with some mermaid paper, but look how pretty that is. I mean, it's just so pretty. I love it. How fun is that? So I hope that you enjoyed my small haul. Check the description box below for links to the products if you're looking for them. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.